school nurses held a protest today to demand better pay and more staffing. Those who took part in the protest outside city school headquarters today say they are being overworked. They say the school system keeps giving them more responsibilities and there are not enough nurses to handle it all. They say some schools don't even have a nurse at all. And with the increased work that is now put on our staff from the testing, it has left our members tired, drained, and unable to fulfill the, the health care needs of a lot of students. So if you want a program like this, we were telling Baltimore Public School, we're demanding that they have adequate staff to have a program of this magnitude. Well, a spokesman for Baltimore City School says the nurses' protest is focused on the wrong entity, saying their union contract is with the city of Baltimore, not city school system. The statement also says nurses' workload in city schools is below that of nurses in Maryland. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elders and the apostles, the elder, elder apostles of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you other elders, you brethren, you followers of the truth, and let me say shalom to the elect. Anyway, um, this story uh, came across my phone, so I figured I'd jump on that first, and this is um, you know, a lot I can't say, but this is an enjoyable event, <laughs> uh, to say the least, because um, Eve, has been um, very happy, very proud, very glorious <clears throat> in the society. Now we go to Ezekiel the third chapter, seventh verse, I believe the seventeenth verse. It says, "Son of man, warn um, warn the people, warn them from their wicked ways." Right. So I don't know what the complaint is for. Right. With power comes responsibility and and you can see who's out here marching where's um where's uh jake so to speak so the scripture says the first shall be last and the last shall be first so a lot of these eves and in, in these situations when you know they, they have a saying that the bigger you are the harder you fall well that's true the higher you climb the prouder you get the harder to fall okay and um eve doesn't have an answer what the hell is going on right but this is a a, a breakdown in, in society infrastructure the system everything all together this is all orchestrated by the heavenly father okay um, let me read a scripture real quick I'm going back in um, the time of Darius the king okay it says um, 1 and 6 ye have sown much and bring in little right you work hard you bust your ass you know just to get taxes taken from you and if you got dependents you can claim it at the end of the year but after so much interest was made off of it you get crumbs of course that's how it works you gotta um, pay your bills you gotta pay your gas and electric well number one your rent or mortgage then you gotta um, make sure you eat you gotta pay your gas and electric your phone a lot of these eaves have cable cell phones they buy them high-end cars. Yeah, well, yeah. How how much glorious, gloriously has she lived? She delighted. You get all these amenities. You get, believe it or not, a new, uh, known woman that had a great government job, and she was still getting food stamps, making a lot of money. All because she was able to manipulate the system. These eaves, they know. I mean, it's you know, it's set up, but they know. They know how to manipulate the system, man. But the minute 
something go crash and hit the wall, guess what? They're going to stand up and, and protest, right? So, what they, what it, is what they're doing wrong? Not exactly, because what, we, what we're doing, well, yeah, they're wrong according to Scripture, yeah, but what we're doing, uh, we're doing in the spirit. Yes, we'll protest in the spirit. Um, the scriptures in Romans 13 and 13 says not to walk in rioting and drunkenness you know staggering after all that because of the the um, things that happen and, and, they, and they have to constantly get checked out you know what I mean um, that is putting a strain on them you know it's making things very very hard but this is what you signed up for you took the oath to uh take care of the children so my question is since you love the children so much does it seem to be money seems to be more important than the children I get it but that is a good question <clears throat> if it's all about the love of the children <clears throat> but I do agree that you, you should get paid for your work but they're saying they're, they're um, hard hard hours and, and no pay. You know this leading to, <clears throat> okay, it's going to be a situation ultimately where this thing has to be accepted because you can't be every week so-called getting, uh, you know, yourself examined, so to speak. So this may be a problem, <clears throat> okay? So anyway, that's what Haggai says. Uh, um... Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough, right? And especially, um, you know, the single single mothers that they have to go into these situations to where they can eat and go to food drives, food stamps, or whatever. But then they drive in a nice Acura, right? Or maybe a Lexus, and in some cases Mercedes Benzes goes to show this is a product of what you see is the influence of Jake not there I'm talking about real Jake because the scripture says a child left to himself become willful so we know Eve is like that child left to herself that becomes willful and now you're crying the pinch is coming on right you're in the pinch Proverbs 11.21 Though hand join in hand the wicked shall not be unpunished. This is no scripture I used to read without even pulling it. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Okay? So do I blame them for one that, you know, take care of the, um, you know, get a good job and get benefits, get paid. But the scripture says trust not thine enemy. Are they doing that? Let's go to Jeremiah 4 and 30. Let's see what it says. One of my favorites here. And when thou art spoiled, what will thy do? With a question mark. Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rendest thy face with paintings, right? In vain shalt thou make thyself fair, thy lovers will despise thee they will seek thy life right so we can see that we can see that in the you know it's not a lot I can't say but we can see when it when it when it the uh, S H T F as they acronym you know they say an the acronym when the crap hit the fan then what what you gonna do because you solely relied on the rulers of darkness right this is what you solely relied you had nobody to stand on or stand behind and what a lot of these eaves do is they don't consider an eligible man someone who is uh, making a, a lower pay rate than them they gotta hit it all because this is what they're taught and they feel in some fairy land, fairy tale land, that they're going to get the right one that's going to elevate them in a high status of their life. I don't know. But a lot of these Eves 
had chances to get support and, and uh, you know somebody there to help them but you know what you know who they're in bed with and that's all they consider but when the when the person when the the people you're in bed with committed adultery on you and start showing themselves at you you're going to see what it's really like and you're going to feel it you know when it all comes down to hammer you'll feel it right that's what the Lord says when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction shall come upon them and this is what we can see um, they thought these Eves thought yeah it's going to be good and they might get a little better and they might um, fulfill their um, agenda or whatever their, their um, fulfill their uh, what they're asking for or whatever you know they might go ahead and take care of them you know fulfill their demands you know he might do that but then it's going to be more hell it's going to come like a woman in travail you know it'll come and go labor pains until ultimately the bubble bursts anyway I just thought this was an interest, interesting story you know what are you crying for now that's the question I have why are you mad why are you angry should save that money all that great money a lot of them ease of making in there you know may not be the greatest money but they're doing a whole lot better than the average Jake you know enjoying the lunches that you ordering out I know because I, I went up to the school and every time I went up there they ordered take out they're not putting money away they're not being financially smart and now they want more and more and more it's not enough what are you complaining about you've been living good you've been del gloriously deliciously living great nice ride your nice car a lot of them got nice homes and now they want more anyway that's all I have on that shallow wall